Hello friends, this video on ratio and proportion part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us now see what is ratio. Ratio is a comparison of two quantities in terms of how many times. Like whenever we use ratio, it is about dividing two different quantities just to tell that how many times of one quantity is the other. So that kind of comparison is it happens in case of ratio. So let us take an example. So let us say these are two friends. A and B. So this is A and this is B. Let's say height of A is 150 centimeter, height of B is 130 centimeter. So if we say that what is the ratio of heights of A with respect to B? What is the ratio of height of A to height of B? So the ratio would be height of A divided by height of B. So this becomes equal to 150 by 130 that is equal to 15 by 13. And how do we denote ratio? Now we never denote ratio in the form of division like 15 by 13. We denote them in this format 15 is to 13. So we ca you call this symbol when how do we read this symbol? We call this as is to. So 15 is to 13 that means 15 by 13. Right where 15 corresponds to the height of A and 13 corresponds to the height of B. Now it doesn't mean that height of A is 15 cm. It just means that the if you divide height of A with height of B, this is what you would get so after division. So this is like the ratio in its simplest form 15 by 13. So please remember that 15 and 13 do not denote the actual heights of A and B. Perfect. Similarly, if we say that height of A is two times the height of B, then what would be the ratio? So if we say that height of, so th this was one example. Now we are taking a different example. Let's say that height of A is equal to twice of height of B. If this is a given condition, in that case, case what would be the ratio of height of A to height of B. So the ratio would be height of A which is let, let's assume that the height of A is X then the height of B would be how much. So now we know that height of A is two times the height of B. So if height of B is X height of A would be 2X. So therefore the ratio would be 2 by 1 or 2 is to 1. Therefore height of A is to height of B is equal to 2 is to 1. This shows that if height of B is 1, then height of A would be 2. So this 2 and 1 are not the actual heights. They just tell the ratio between their heights. Now, one more interesting thing is that whenever you are trying to compare two quantities using ratios, their units must be the same. So you can never compare two different quantities with two different units. For example, let's take this example. Let's say that height of A is given as 150 centimeter and height of B is given as 1300 or 1300 millimeter. Now you have to find out the ratio of height of A to the height of B. So height of A is 150 centimeter divided by you just can't say 1300 millimeter and you just can't find their value and say that this is the ratio. So you just can't do that. Then what should you do? You will have to do something so that you are able to convert one of these such that both the heights are in the same unit. So let's say that you decide to convert millimeter into centimeter. So what happens? This becomes 150 centimeter divided by, we know that one, one millimeter is equal to one by 10 centimeter. Therefore, 1300 millimeter would be 1300 divided by 10 centimeter. So when you try to find out the value, you get the ratio as 15 is to 13. So what is ratio comparing two quantities in terms of how many times it is denoted by the symbol is to and most importantly for comparing any two quantities in a ratio their units must be the same even if they are not same convert them such that they are same. 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.